Glenn, promising and encouraging. Those are the two words to best describe the layout for this COVID-19 vaccine timeline in the state of Utah. Within one year, two pharmaceutical companies, Moderna and Pfizer, have made, tested, and will distribute this vaccine to Utah by December. However, there are certain timelines when groups will get it, and that just depends on when Pfizer will get that FDA approval. There has been a lot of really encouraging news on the vaccine front, uh, even as recently as this morning. This morning, Utah health leaders announced an updated timeline to the COVID-19 vaccine, including who will get it and when. We've been working at the Department of Health for months now on what our vaccine distribution plan is going to look like, and it's complicated. Since it's complicated, I'll break it down for you. The COVID-19 vaccine is coming to Utah in December. Initially, five hospital networks that have the capacity and refrigeration will receive the Pfizer vaccine. Those hospital networks include University of Utah, LDS, Utah Valley Regional, Dixie Regional, and Intermountain Healthcare. Then in January, the remaining hospitals in Utah will get it, and so will the staff at clinics, pharmacies, and long-term care facilities. It is very uh, difficult to plan when we don't know exactly how much vaccine we have. Initially, the state could receive up to 100,000 vaccines, which would help 50,000 people since it is a two-shot process. In between February and March, long-term care facility residents and essential workers will get the vaccine. From March through July, tribal groups, those 65 and older, people with underlying medical conditions, and workers at a high-risk level will get the vaccine. High-risk level people include teachers, airline workers, and those working in child care. Lastly, by July, health leaders say there will be a sufficient supply of the COVID-19 vaccine for the general public in Utah. But this is all under one condition. Again, that's if all goes well. That means if all the data shows that it's positive, if um, everything looks well in the approval process, FDA approval. I was told last week, and as we previously reported, this vaccine is going to be free, regardless of if you have insurance or not. Also, the vaccine is for those aged 18 and up, and that is because these trials between Moderna and Pfizer did not trust that younger age group. And Glenn and Emily, I want to stress, this is some great positive news in the midst of all this COVID negativity that we've had. Reporting live at the State House, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.